At the beginning of the 2000s, business aviation offered clients only two options, robust mid-size aircraft that prioritized luxury but consumed fuel voraciously, or ultralight jets that were economical but sacrificed range and comfort for financial accessibility. This seemingly unchangeable scenario created a void in the market, a space between extremes that no traditional manufacturer dared to explore. Giants like Cessna, Learjet, and Bombardier focused on gradual refinements of established designs, seemingly convinced it was technologically impossible to combine the performance of larger aircraft with the efficiency of smaller ones. But sometimes the greatest revolutions are born exactly where least expected. And if you enjoy aviation content, consider subscribing to the channel. In 2005, while the global aerospace industry followed its predictable routines, something extraordinary was happening inside Embraer's offices in San Jose dos Campos. Enrique Langenegger, a Brazilian engineer with vision beyond the conventional, was preparing to present to the board a proposal that many would consider delusional, to develop a light business jet capable of offering the performance and comfort of mid-size aircraft while maintaining superior operational efficiency. During that memorable presentation, Langenegger not only proposed a new aircraft, he suggested rewriting the rules of the game. What would make this bold ambition possible would not only be advanced engineering, but a revolutionary design philosophy. Langenegger's proposal represented a complete break from decades of conventional thinking. Instead of incrementally improving existing designs, his team decided to start from absolute zero, questioning every aspect of business aviation from its fundamental principles. Thus was born the concept that would materialize in the Phenom 300, a machine designed to reconcile characteristics historically considered mutually exclusive. The initial numbers of the project were impressive and challenged established logic. While comparable jets required approximately 850 pounds of fuel per hour, the Phenom 300 promised to operate with just 750 pounds, a 12% reduction that seemed impossible without sacrificing performance. Its projected range of 1,970 nautical miles, approximately 3,600 kilometers, would exceed direct competitors by more than 20%, while its cruise speed of 450 knots rivaled aircraft in an entirely higher category. Even more impressive, its operational cost per nautical mile would be 25% lower than the category average, while maintaining comfort and finishing standards comparable to the best in the industry. But turning numbers on paper into reality would require revolutionary technological innovations. The secret of the Phenom 300 lay in a completely innovative aerodynamic approach that defied established conventions. The team of engineers developed a unique wing profile, incorporating a mathematically optimized integrated winglet design that minimized induced drag without creating critical points of structural stress. The aerodynamic profile of the fuselage, characterized by its elegantly extended rear section, was sculpted to drastically reduce interference drag while significantly improving stability during high-speed flights. The most revolutionary element, however, lay at the heart of the machine, the Pratt & Whitney PW535E engines specially modified for the project. These engines incorporated a next-generation FADEC system that represented a quantum leap in propulsion technology for aircraft in this category. This system not only controlled the engine, it thought alongside the machine, continuously optimizing thousands of variables per second according to different altitude, temperature, and power demand conditions. But theory and reality don't always coincide in aviation. The true test would come from the skies. During 2007, the first prototypes of the Phenom 300 began taking shape in Embraer's hangars. Every component, every system was meticulously tested and calibrated. Tension grew as the date of the first flight approached, the moment when years of calculations and simulations would face the ruthless judgment of reality. In April 2008, on a clear morning in San Jose dos Campos, the Phenom 300 prototype took off for its maiden flight.
What happened in those first hours of testing exceeded the team's most optimistic expectations. The prototype not only reached its performance targets, it dramatically surpassed them in critical aspects. The recorded climb rate was an impressive 3,000 feet per minute, surpassing the established goal of 2,800. The range, when tested under real operational conditions, proved to be 5% greater than the most optimistic projections. Even more impressive was the aircraft's behavior at reduced speeds during stall tests. Pilots reported unparalleled docility and predictability, extraordinary characteristics considering the machine's complex aerodynamics. But while Embraer internally celebrated these successes, external forces conspired to test the determination of everyone involved. When Embraer officially announced the Phenom program in 2005, the industry reaction was one of polite skepticism mixed with condescension. Their specialists in regional commercial aviation, not business jets, murmured a veteran Cessna executive. However, the Brazilian company had ambitions that transcended expectations to build a complete family of business aircraft, starting with the compact Phenom 100 and culminating in the revolutionary Phenom 300. The technical challenges were monumental. Simultaneous certification under the rigorous standards of the American FAA, European EASA, and Brazilian ANAC, a process that traditionally stretched development timelines by years, demanded innovation not only in the product, but in the process itself. The team responded with a pioneering approach, parallel certification with all three agencies, working simultaneously in a complex coordination few in the industry had ever attained attempted. Then came September 2008. The collapse of Lehman Brothers triggered a global financial crisis that hit business aviation with devastating force. The market, historically sensitive to economic turbulence, went into freefall. Traditional manufacturers watched their order books evaporate. Hawker Beechcraft filed for bankruptcy. Cessna laid off thousands of employees. Development projects were canceled or indefinitely postponed. It was the perfect moment to abandon a project, and that's exactly why they decided to continue. Embraer faced the most critical decision in its business aviation history. In a tense board meeting in November 2008, with the global economy collapsing and the business jet market disintegrating by the day, CEO Federico Curado made a decision many considered reckless. We continue. This crisis is temporary, but when it passes, and it will, we'll be alone at the starting line with exactly the product the market will need. It was a multi-billion dollar bet based on a simple conviction. Crises pass, but innovation endures. While competitors retreated to safer ground, Embraer accelerated the development of the Phenom 300. Certification was completed in December 2009, an extraordinary feat considering the surrounding economic chaos. First deliveries took place just weeks later, proving that determination can overcome adversity. But the real judgment was still to come, market approval. In 2010, the initial numbers seemed to confirm the pessimists. Only 26 units of the Phenom 300 were delivered. For many observers, it looked like a predicted failure. However, as the global economy gradually recovered, something extraordinary began to happen. The Phenom 300 began to demonstrate its true potential. In 2012, it earned the title of most delivered light business jet in the world. In 2013, it took absolute leadership in global sales, a position it would hold uninterrupted for the next eight years, an unprecedented feat in business aviation. The explanation for this phenomenal success lay in a historical irony. It was precisely the traditional conservatism of the industry that created space for Embraer's revolution. While established manufacturers were fined existing designs without questioning fundamentals, Embraer, free from the weight of decades of conventional thinking, managed to completely reimagine the concept of a business jet. The impact of the Phenom 300 transcended its own impressive sales, forcing the
the entire industry to reconsider fundamental premises. Competitors that had operated in a comfort zone for decades were forced to innovate for the first time in years. Cessna hurriedly developed the Citation Latitude. Pilatus created the revolutionary PC-24. Honda, which had never built business jets, entered the market with the innovative Honda Jet. All of these projects carried the unmistakable mark of the influence exerted by the new paradigm established by the Phenom 300. In 2020, Embraer proved it had no intention of resting on the laurels of success. The launch of the Phenom 300E incorporated even more sophisticated avionics and aerodynamic refinements that raised its top speed to Mach 0.80, officially making it the fastest single-pilot jet on the planet. The financial numbers revealed the strength of this technological revolution. With a list price of approximately $9.65 million, the Phenom 300 directly competes with the Cessna Citation CJ4 at $10.8 million and the Pilatus PC24 at $11.3 million, offering per-hour operating costs about 15% lower. This economic advantage resulted in over 650 units delivered by 2023, with an order book that remains strong even during periods of economic volatility. Customer loyalty is remarkable. 74% of owners who purchase a second aircraft choose Embraer again. Projections indicate 4-5% to annual growth in the premium market through 2030, with the Phenom 300E maintaining a 25-30% to market share. Practically, this represents 40 to 50 annual deliveries in the coming years, consolidating a legacy of innovation that continues to redefine possibilities.